Richmond Lamte! Congratulations, Richmond! You made us all proud. Good job, Dan. Congratulations. Wow. That's Antipata Boy is proud of you. We are so proud of you. No, ma. No, ma. No, ma. Uh, so, coaches, you are grateful that you passed. You passed through. Uh, if if we are to ask all of you, all of you to describe this young man in in a word, what sort of word would you use to this describe him? I will start from from you, boss. He's an extraordinary. <laughs> Mr. Nigel. Yeah, he's so amazing. Which? He's a fantastic player. And then, <laughs> he's still cool. <laughs> he has said it all. He's a fantastic player. <laughs> yeah. So, coach, what, what traits? What, what's that one thing with Lamte that you think that if you had to focus on him so well and give him the chance, the whole national team can benefit from at this competition? I think it's, it's, it's game understanding, his ability to uh, identify situations on the field and then apply the right decisions on the field makes him unique. And that's what he's been doing to help uh, Kumasi as a team. Uh, his reading of the game, his, his understanding of the game, and the application of the right decisions on the fourth makes him an entirely extraordinary player amongst us. Um, I, I see him to be a genius. That's, that's, that's it. Coach, there was a clarion call from our support base and the media uh, debating on whether or not he should be included. Um, what would you say to all those that had a hand in terms of having a word to say about him and then praising the quality he brings to play on both fronts. I think uh, they've all done well by identifying the quality that he, he has uh, technically, tactically, what he brings into the into the into the commercial Santa Cotonko setup and into the Ghanaian Premier League. Uh, he makes the league exciting with his depth touches, uh, movement with and without the ball. Uh, these are uh, what he has done over, over, over the seasons that he has played that has caught the attention of the numerous uh, supporters and football level people in Ghana. I think uh, with, with the right support, Lamptey can rise to, to the highest in football. And I'm saying this because of his high sense of discipline. I mean, uh, he rests a lot, he sleeps a lot, and he thinks so much about uh, what uh, he can do to improve upon his previous performance. And there's one thing I like about him. When you, you try to correct him, he's humble to listen to what you are saying. Even though, I mean, he's, 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 he's the best, or one of the best in the league. Uh, when you approach him in terms of his tactical errors, his technical errors, and you want to correct him. The, the receptive nature of, of his body language tells it all. So to me, with such an attitude, you can get to the top. Um, so to me, yeah. Yeah, coaches, your boy will be joining the national team very soon, and obviously you are missing him from the Africa. What will be your word of advice for, for this journey to Manasi and that takes a new journey in the national team? So, all of you, your word of advice to this journey. We urge him to go there and make himself proud, the team proud, the whole of us. That's for go to crew. So the head coach will be your word of encouragement or advice. I think it's a privilege and it's an honor for himself, for his family, the loved ones, um Kumasi Asante Protocol 
and Asante man. And therefore, we should know that apart from going to serve the nation, uh, he's the eye of Kumasi Asante Protocol. So as he goes there, he should make sure that he, he, he conforms with the, the, the rules and regulations there. Uh, the, the ethical standard practices within the team should make sure that it conforms to it so that uh, everything that will be said about him as a man and as a man. Yes, bro. Uh, which I am advised to you. Uh, you that? Well, I think that I've been to the last times before and like our head coach said, over there, they are dealing with new standard basis. Uh, Everybody tried to comport him himself around the team and the table of time, the window of the time of the team. I would urge him to learn to let him learn the world, so those are the things he has to bear in mind and then try to make it all the time that is being proposed. Maybe if it is one o'clock, then he make sure he's there like 10 minutes to the time. I think that whatever everybody is talking about, it will be like that. You see the best in him. Which you advise your boy. I would just add a very simple thing that and the four things that describe a player, which are the pure speed, technical speed, speed of action, and mental speed. He has three of them that he needs to get going consolidate, and that will make him unique in the team. He shouldn't forget about his humility, hard work respect that has brought him this far. This is just the beginning of better things to happen for him. And he will make us proud. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. We are we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to say one thing. And uh, I think I told uh, Coach Coach Bobo uh, 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 Okay, that's our story. Uh, thank you so much and uh, congratulations once again. Elisha Okonosu, Richmond Lampy, Mohamed Kudos, Andre Ayu, Mansfield.